Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to another episode from the massive city of Sangrakur. Today we are building a military district. We are building a fort that will protect the shore but also where most of the soldiers that are used to protect the city and go to war for this kingdom is located. And we're building a dock for this where we have warships and we're also building other infrastructure to just help this military district work. If you want to take a look at what we built in today's episode yourself, uh, in my Discord channel there is uh, information about what kind of mods and everything. You can just download a pre-made mod pack which includes uh, the Conquest Reforged mods and the other building mods that I use. And you can get on the server here which is hosted by Skynode and just uh, run around and take a look at everything yourself. It's great. And also if you want your own server there is a link down below as well with some discounts so uh, you can get your own server to build on and play on with friends. I also just want to take a moment to thank you guys for all the support and really the feedback. It really has been lately where you guys have been posting inspiration pictures, you have been coming up with ideas and kind of just going alongside with me as we build the lore for this place. You guys really seem to care and really uh, are involved in building uh, not only Sangra Kerr but all the other parts of this world we are building here uh, and just want to thank you guys for everyone who's participating in building this massive fantasy world together with me uh, i really believe that together we can make it the best and i really hope that this will be a project for not just me but for all of my subscribers and that you guys will take uh, part in just evolving it and create the lore and create ideas for cities and, and make and shape this world here together with me and I also want to thank you guys for, as I said, the comments and ideas you come up with. I read every single message you send me, I read every single comment, uh, but I might not be able to take everything into consideration or like reply and give my thoughts on your idea. Uh, but if a, a good idea comes across from one of you guys, I will definitely put it in. And sometimes, uh, unfortunately, there are not so great ideas, but just let, just know that I read every single one of them and I appreciate it because very often you guys just have some brilliant ideas that I take into consideration. Now let's move over to the tour part where we take a look at everything that we built in detail. As usual, we start the tour with an overview over everything that we have built. As you can see, it's very close to the previous video from Sangra Kerr where we built the entertainment district or the art district over here. Uh, and it's not entirely connected yet because I plan on for the next episode to build out this area here and over the waters here. Uh, but we have this entire section here, which I gotta say, I think it's looking awesome. Um, I love the vibe for this place here and it's basically a massive fort on the top here uh, for the military barracks and and protecting mostly the shore and uh, as we will see we have boats to kind of patrol and and protect we will get to that but the idea is this is mostly for uh, defense and for the army of Sangre Kerr, which is cool I also built the bridge which will connect this part of the city to uh, this area over here which I plan on let me know guys with some comments um, I'm planning on doing some farms here actually on this most like this Delta area here uh, at least like this little bits here maybe some fields uh, and then just have these roads kind of just uh, go straight through the fields and then we can have like these areas here will probably be covered in water and stuff uh, in flood times so maybe we can have some small fields and some small uh, buildings for uh, running the fields just because yeah it, it's not an ideal place to build unless we build like elevations like we have down here uh, but also having some food sources within the city walls like massive farms within the walls would probably be beneficial in case of a siege so i'm thinking of doing uh, some of that here and then uh, kind of start the city more over at this side and then just have some flat areas for farming. Anyway, let's get back uh, for today's video. We built a bridge here which leads uh, over to this area here and it's decorated with these spears which is one of the symbols for the warrior god Asakiret which is the god of war uh, and uh, it's either portrayed as uh, a knight holding a spear or just a spear uh, and for simplicity it's much easier for me 
to build spears or something that looks like spears uh, than building a knight. And this leads over to this little... Uh, I love this little feature here. It's just like a little extension here and this is only for leisure for the people uh, living here. Like, uh, it's just an area to sit here. We have some palm trees uh, and it's just built on yeah the delta here. Um, I love it. It's such a cozy thing and probably not very realistic but we're building a pretty city as well, not just realistic. So I like this and I think it works. And then we go into this, which is like a gate, some kind of structure here, which leads into the fort area. I really like this uh, simplicity one here. And it's built over this little bridge uh, here. So really cool. I like that. Um, and then over here we have some stables. And let's start with those. So you come down here into the district. And we have a, a stable here, quite big, uh, for the horses or camels, I guess, maybe horses, let's say, I think we're, we've used horses in the past. So uh, this would be for horses and there's a lot of these enclosures for them, pretty cool. And then actually in the back here, we have like a free roaming enclosure for them. So I believe it's good for horses to just kind of roam around freely and not just stand in a stall all day. So they can come out here and here we have like some water trowel and some shaded area because it would be pretty hot. And they can wander about here and eat grass, the little grass there is and, and just kind of get to move on, you know. So I kind of like that and then it's kind of just blocked off by uh, the cliff here. Uh, so yeah, it's a small area for them to do that. Up above we actually have some stations for creating hay so here we have some dried fodder or clay and uh, not clay hay <laughs> uh, they can use to feed the horses and here we have some new ones so they kind of bring in the fresh grass and stuff and the fodder and just put it here and over time it will dry in the hot summer sun let's jump down and get into the fort itself it's looking pretty massive uh, also loving the texturing for this. It's um, a little different than the other textures and it's a lot different than this. Uh, but I wanted it to stand out a little bit. Perhaps it's a lot older. Perhaps uh, like uh, if you remember the lore, Sangrokur is not a really old city itself because of the serpent that uh, roamed these lands and make them all inhabitable or at least not uh, possible to make a, a city on. But maybe they built a fort a long time ago. Maybe this is uh, reminiscence of some old architectural style and that was built here. Um, I really like it and I haven't written down the lore per se but um, I just kind of li like building something and just see where it goes if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah I really like the texturing of it as well. It's looking pretty worn down but not like in a bad shape or anything. All right. Let's go through the gate and then we get into the first little courtyard here. Um, here we have all sorts of stuff. We have a little uh, stable here as well. This is where like, um, yeah, you could park some of the horses for the lords or people of higher ranks uh, before they got into here. And then there's just a massive steep staircase which goes up here. From here you can get on top of the walls here to defend it like that. And look down at uh, the military docks pretty cool and then it wraps around here follows up and then goes through a little gate here and brings you up to the second courtyard uh, and here we have like the training grounds so we have a plaza in the middle where we have some dummies you can uh, practice your sword game on um, those are from the victory mod by the way look pretty cool and then over here we also have some archery ranges so you stand here and practice your arrow shooting um, and even here we have like a shaded area and this is where like the Lord Commander or the highest rank could just sit here and just kind of overwatch everything make sure that uh, everyone is training hard and that like if there's someone who's either very good or very bad you can pick them out and talk to them uh, so he has like this area here and from here you can also get on top of these walls uh, I really like these uh, shallow walls, like they're low from the inside, but quite tall from the outside. And it's kind of making it look like it's built inside or uh, using the natural elevation here uh, and building onto it. Um, but yeah, uh, I really like that. And then here we have uh, a storage building uh, for 
like weapons, we have spears, we have uh, swords, um, yeah, all sorts of stuff stored in here. And there's also a little room here um, for like the one in charge of the practices. So he would sit here and take notes and kind of make sure that everyone is getting their practice in. So that's that. Uh, and over here we have another little storage building as well. Just some more storage like that. And you can also enter the walls from this side. Uh, here we have another gate, quite a massive gate, which leads into an inner courtyard. Uh, through there, and it goes up like that, and we get to the upper parts, the upper sections. Uh, it's a pretty big gatehouse here, and you can get on top here if you run around like this. And then we have arrow slits looking down like that. And you can get all the way on top and uh, where you yeah, have some nice crenellations and stuff. Um, yeah, little flag here with the uh, Sangriker or the Ducarian, I guess. Ducarian flag. Alright, um, down here we have two barracks. Uh, they're identical, pretty much. Um, this one here has... This is supposed to be for uh, the newcomers. So, there's two like higher rank guards that are in charge of just making sure that the newcomers behave so they have one bed there and another one there and they sleep here together with the newcomers and yeah this is where they sleep you can go through on this side um and then yeah we can actually go upstairs or up the ladder we have some storage and things like that i mean in between the barracks we have some shaded area for them to just kind of get some shade if they want to and then in here we have just more bunk beds and here we have uh, for normal ranks people just a ton of these beds here pretty cool uh, the idea here for this area is that this is a gathering point so up here we actually have a little like scene or a place for uh, the commander or whoever want to talk they can get up here and talk and we can gather the people in this flat area here and another little detail, uh, the wall has crumbled a little bit here, so they are kind of repairing it now with some bricks and trying to rebuild this little section here. Uh, here in between the barracks and this um, tower here, we have uh, a small plaza where we have a well. And this is built or connected to a cistern as you saw in, uh, this is kind of trippy to look at actually. There's water down there. <laughs> uh, it's connected to a cistern down here like that. So this is like where the little water that comes here and all of it just landing on the fort would be filtered and into this area here. So we have some water. And here we have some storage and stuff. And yeah, we're back here at the plaza. So and there's a little plaza there. Now we have this building here which is like a communal area. We have a feast hall in here for all the guards or uh, warriors, I guess. And behind here, we actually have um, the kitchen area where they prepare all the food. In the back, we have like some more storage. Um, an area here where you can just lay stinky food like fish and stuff. And then also all the way over here, we have like a compost area for the remaining food and things. So you can put it here. All right, um, we can actually go up a little ladder uh, stair here. It takes us up here, little garden and a small sitting area here, just for like relaxing, enjoying the sun and stuff. Uh, all of them are drinking beer at the moment. Um, and then in here we actually have a map room or strategy room. This is where the yeah the higher rank people would uh, discuss like plans and specifically I think they would like. Uh, just map out where there's vulnerabilities in either the kingdom or other stuff like that. So, pretty cool. And then there is a ladder going up here to the top section where we have some storage and some seating areas and, and things. Now the final part to take a look at up here is this building here. Um, and as normal uh, for me, <laughs> I've forgotten this room. I will have to get to that. Uh, if you're new here, uh, I always finish everything. So this is um, this is an exception, okay? 
<laughs> no, it's not. I, I always forget rooms. Uh, here we have some access to some arrow slits that are uh, pretty high up and down at like the first courtyard. Pretty well defended up here. Um, so that's cool. And then there's a staircase which goes up to here. We have a small office area for the Lord Commander or the, the highest ranked in the military here who would be sitting here and he actually he has a small off or living room uh, behind here as well pretty colorful I think it's beautiful uh, so this is where like the Lord Commander would stay and then all the way up here we have more defense up on the granulations here and they can look at the massive uh, castle which isn't really entirely rendering here there we go <laughs> uh, if you haven't seen the video where we built that you should because uh, that was a big job building that thing it's so much bigger than it looks when you see it compared to the houses over here yeah you kind of see how insanely massive this building is anyway um, so that is pretty much the fort of saint Recur, or at least this fort here uh, built on this shore here um, so let's get to the docks area shall we um, we have some boats here and I'm taking inspiration from Egyptian boats and you might think they're quite small uh, but from what I could tell like ma like warships and ships in general in ancient Egypt weren't massive um, compared to what we have like at least at least in later medieval Europe uh, so I don't, don't want to make them too big uh, but maybe the trade ships can be bigger uh, but these are military ships uh, and they're built so they can easily maneuver they're very agile and very shallow so they can transfer or tra be used in the, the shallow rivers here and there's probably a lot of rivers around here and alongside the shore where the waters are really shallow so these boats are made to be fast easy to maneuver and also we have this horrifying face carving in the front which scares up everyone this is actually pretty horrible to look at uh, but the fun thing is I tried to make one of them on a diagonal and honestly, I'm happy with this It's not too bad for being a diagonal, but <laughs> The face is really derpy, but might even be more horrifying than the other ones So there's a couple of these uh, boats here. You can see they have oars. They're used to just paddling and uh, not uh, reliant on wind or anything uh, and I think they look good and I think they're an appropriate size, as, at least regarding how ancient Egyptians built boats. Uh, one of you guys suggested that I should build at least one massive ship, and I think I want to, but it's just too shallow here. So if we build it, we'll have to build it out in the ocean here, and it'll have to be docked there with an anchor or something. Uh, and then they will have to travel out to it by boat, but maybe we can do that in the future. Uh, ships are fun. Very challenging, but they are fun. So. Perhaps we will do a video uh, only on building a massive warship for Sangrukur. Here we have a statue of Asakiret, the um, warrior god, uh, out on the pier here. Uh, and basically, he's kind of just guarding the harbor here, looking out here. Also, a little idea I got, let me know down below. I'm thinking that all of these small uh, patches of land that are like occurring in the river delta here. Uh, could be for like slums so a lot of people want to live in the city but it's probably expensive to live in the downtowns but these areas here are constantly flooded and maybe they shift around and move year to year because of the water so maybe we could build like a slum here like some very simple wooden mud kind of buildings here on these um, and then we could either have like some simple bridges to get to them I don't know let me know if you like that idea or if you have any other ideas for what to do with these small islands here. Uh, apart from that, we have these cranes on here that I like a lot. They're built on wheels or tracks, I guess. So they can kind of move them in and out. So like if there's one boat here, but you could be another one docked outside it and you can kind of load that as well. So yeah, you can load it up and just kind of push it out and lower the way the the loads onto the other ships here um, you see we have another one over here which is loading the middle one and it's pretty cool I like that and it follows some tracks in the ground here uh, we have some storage of course with weapons and all that sort of stuff and then uh, we have another building here for 
I believe this is mostly storage. Yeah. So here we have some storage. We have some ores, uh, weapons, and, and things like that. And also down here or behind here, we actually have like uh, just a small office. There, there has to be someone in charge of just knowing where every single ship is, what ship has been loaded, what ship has to be loaded, what ship is damaged, uh, and so on. So th th that's his office in there. Um, so yeah. We can probably fit a lot more ships in here, so maybe they're out just patrolling or stuff. I don't know. So, love that little one. This is not the main dock though. The main dock will be, let me show you on the map, will be over here. It's going to be massive, uh, inspired by Carthage, um, the ancient city of Carthage. So, you can Google that if you want to get a spoiler for what I want to build. Uh, and the last thing I want to show you is this little gate here. There's a little gate just separating uh, and like I imagine there will be guards standing here at all times just protecting it and but it's not like completely closed off and up above here we have spears and as you can see one of them has broken and fallen down like that just a little detail I like uh, and yeah one more thing here we have another gathering area outside the fort so we could gather here and yeah talk about stuff I guess well guys, that is it for today's episode. We got a lot done in this one and I'm super excited to just continue working on this magnificent city. Uh, let me know what you think with a comment down below and don't forget to hit the like button and all that stuff. And I will see all of you guys later. It's been Vigoman and I'm out. <laughs>